Hey there guys, welcome back to the second video in our network series. Last time we looked at the different pieces of hardware that are commonly used for networking, so if you haven't already, you may want to go and check that out. Today we'll be discussing LANs, WANs and PANs. The contents of this specific video are useful for those taking both AQA and OCR GCSE computer science, as well as those taking AQA and OCR A level computer science. Make sure to check your specific specification to ensure that you are covering the relevant information. Of course, if you're not doing any of these courses and are just here to learn, then this video is for you. So one of the fundamental principles of networking is understanding the differences between LANs, WANs and PANs. We'll start off with a PAN. Here, we're not talking about a frying pan, but a personal area network. This links devices in close proximity together for personal use. A good example of this is a Fitbit, as it links back to the user's phone to report data. This is classed as a pan because it's only used by one person. A LAN stands for a local area network. This is a network which is defined by the fact that it's located within a limited location, such as a room or building. This can be anything, ranging from someone's home network, up to a network within a school campus or organisation. Sometimes there is some confusion as to when a network is physically too big to be a LAN, and a good way to determine whether the network is in fact a LAN or not, is to see if all the network infrastructure is owned by the organisation that uses it, which is also responsible for its upkeep. And finally, we move on to WANs. A WAN is what is known as a Wide Area Network. This spans a large geographical area which could literally be anything from one street up to the surface of the entire Earth. Typically, they are made up of interconnected LANs at different sites that are connected by some sort of telecoms link which is usually provided by a third party. WANs are useful for businesses like banks or places such as hospitals where data needs to be shared between many different sites and locations through one secure network instead of involving other organisations. The largest WAN is of course the Internet. So remember, a PAN is a personal area network used by one person, a LAN is a local area network which is contained within a certain area, and a WAN is a wide area network which covers a large area made up of interconnected LANs. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully learned something about LANs, WANs and PANs. Join us next time to continue learning about networks. For now though, please like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see more content from us and hit that bell icon to be notified of when we next upload. Also follow our Instagram and Twitter for daily computer science posts and join our Discord to meet like-minded people and talk about computer science. I'm Harry from Codesapien and I'll see you in the next one.